The Most High kept bringing plague after plague after plague. Sooner they thought everything was going back to normal, there was another plague they had to face. Yeah, exactly. And it's the same thing today. Right. Then sudden destruction come upon them. Right, sudden destruction. All right, it's going to come upon you people, man. All right, the Lord, like a hey, brother read up, the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night, man. Okay? Little do y'all see the destruction is coming, man. See, you see a peace right now. But little little do y'all know this destruction is follow right behind peace, man. That's right. You know, it's gonna uh, it's gonna overcome the peace, man, and take over. Okay, and you people are gonna be in bad a worst case scenario out here, man. All right, because you refuse to you you try to talk about you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The hell with the other nations, man. You know? Because you in your sense of complacency, all right, and, and, and your sense of comfort, your false sense of comfort. You think everything is all good. And they talking about another a fourth stimulus. I think next month, you know, niggas, you know, niggas going to be waiting on that. But, hey, they talking about what a stipulation, though, man. What's that stipulation could be, man? It could be the, you got to take the J-A-B, man. God. You know? Amongst other things, man. It could be the chip with it. it could be know. the uh, M-O-B. The M-O-B, yep. Could be the chip, man. You know these niggas gonna take it. Hey, it's about Come. three. I think twenty five hundred to a three thousand dollars. I think it's the the next one supposed to be. You know niggas gonna take yeah. that man, cause niggas, you you niggas don't have no integrity, man. Come. You don't have no faith. See, our faith is in your how about Shemel Shah. That's why the scriptures say, "Woe well, unto you that that uh go down to Egypt for help." Can't bring that out enough, man. Egypt being um modern day America. That's right. These FEMA camps. You niggas gonna go to the nearest FEMA camp to get chipped. Okay? Because you trust and believe in America. Alright? You wanna say something? No, I'm just gonna finish reading this if you want me to. Oh, go ahead. This is the book of First Thessalonians, chapter 5, starting again at verse 4. But ye, brethren, be not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Right, so hey, it's not gonna overtake the elect, the men that's in the know that's watching. All right, that's why the scriptures uh, say, "Stand upon my watch, man. Stand upon thy watch." Okay, so we standing upon our watch, and we're not gonna get uh, oh, we're not gonna get overtaken, man. Okay, we're not gonna get overtaken by that day, man. Like you peons or you 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 niggas, man. All right, you got it. Ye are all the children of light mm -hmm. and the children of the day. Right. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Right. We are not of the light nor of darkness, man. Y'all, we're the children of light, man. Okay, and the children of the day, we're not of uh, the night or, the, or of darkness because we in the know. We have the light, which is the word, Come. man. Come. Okay? Because we, hey, like Yahweh Shai, we're the light of the world, really. Okay? Yep. And we're not in gross darkness Come. like the rest of you niggas are, man. Yeah. Want to say yeah, something? I'm just going to say, as we uh, often bring out, we are the room, real Illuminati. Exactly. Yes, any more? Yeah. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, starting at verse 6. Therefore... Let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Why? Right. Well, let us watch and be sober, man. All right. We stand upon our watch and we're sober, man. All right. We have a sound mind. All right. Because we have the truth. We have the true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's going to be stability of our times, man. Like I said, we're not in gross darkness. We're not in Christianity, Islam, and all this other bullshit, man. Okay, we have the truth, man, which is these scriptures, the law, statutes, commandments, man. And we know that the Lord is coming back to bring havoc. Okay, so we're watching for uh, all the signs, the current events, the, the measure of the time, like it says in 2nd Andrews, the ninth chapter, measure the time diligently. we measuring the times that way, man, by staying in, in tune with the prophecies, man. So we won't be again get caught uh, by the thief, man, get caught off guard. Con. You know, you got it. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, 
Mm. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Mm -hmm. But let us who are of the day be sober, mm -hmm. putting on the breastplate of faith Ooh. and love. Putting on the breastplate of faith and love, which love is keeping the commandments, man. Come. All right. Two key ingredients, man. Faith is a main ingredient, man. And and the, the love, the law says commandments, man. Okay, then, hey, we're gonna be all right. We keep those two, man. Okay, because faith is a gift. We must have faith, man. If we have, we gotta have faith in Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, because if we don't have faith, can't quote this enough. Hebrews eleven and six. We we can't please the Lord, man. All right, and the Lord's gonna leave us out there to uh uh to dry, man. Hang, you know, He's gonna leave us out there, man. All right, to be destroyed if we don't have faith in. He's going to give us up to whatever um, calamity, all right, that, that's out there. Because he's going to bring the he's gonna bring the evil, man. Because the scriptures say he brings both good and evil, man. And that's part of the, the, the fear in the Lord. Because you know in the terror of the Lord, hey, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, man. Okay? We persuade men, all right, to, uh, uh, you Israelite men, primarily. You know, to come back and repent, okay, before it's too late. Is there any more on that? And for an helmet, the hope of salvation. All right, the hope of salvation, because this is a spiritual battle. Can you give me Ephesians 6? Let's start at 11. Let me see. Ephesians 6 and 11. Let's see. Let's start. Let's see. Let's start at... Uh, Yes, start at 11. Spiritual battle, man. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, starting, on verse, starting at verse 11. Put on the whole armor of your power, mm -hmm. that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the See, devil. If we put on the whole armor, which is these law statutes commandments, man. This word, you know, stand in the spirit, we can resist the devil, man. We can stand against the wiles, meaning the trickery of the devil. Being a so-called white man, we won't fall uh, for his snares and his traps, man. All right, we we won't be ignorant to his devices, man. Read that from the top again. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter six, starting at verse eleven. Come, put on the whole armor of your house, mm -hmm. that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right, and we do this. We do these things, like it says in uh, First Peter's uh, the tenth verse. First Peter is the first chapter, the 10th verse. We should never fail, man. We, we ain't going to get trapped up. <laughs> Read on. For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against principalities, against powers, against the ruler of the darkness of this world, mm -hmm. against spiritual wickedness in high places. So it, it goes to be in a spiritual battle, man. All right, we got to wrestle against these demons, man. Um, battle these spirits. You know, have to, uh, um, you know, uh, suffer our pages getting taken down and terminated. That's part of fighting that spiritual battle, man. Satan fucking with us, man. Not everyday walk. Okay? Because it's always something for us, man. It's always something, man. Always for a man of the Lord, man. Because we got to go through it, man. You know, you got it. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of your house. So we got to put on your house by Shemel Shah fully, man. You got it. That ye may be able to withstand in the Ooh. evil day. We able to withstand in the evil day, man. Read on. And having done all to stand. Right. Real quick, give me Isaiah 33 and 6. Because it says, um, wherefore, take you, like the brother read, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the most high. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. How are we going to withstand in the evil day? You got it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, starting at verse 6. Mm -hmm. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. All right. So wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times. That's how we're going to withstand in the evil day, man. All right. Stability goes to, uh, um, goes uh, within faith, man. Okay. It's, it's talking about faith. Stability is faith. So faith is going to um, uh, uh, have us withstand in the evil day. 
You got it. And strength of salvation. Mm -hmm. Strength of salvation. That's what we are striving for. Salvation, man. Okay. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. All right. And the fear of the Lord. We must fear the Lord. It's a commandment. Pursuing the uh, Deuteronomy the sixth chapter in the thirteenth verse. Must fear the Lord, man. Because huh. that eliminates what? Pride, man. That's right. Okay. It keeps you uh humble. All right. Like the most high loves to see a humble and contrite right. spirit. Acknowledging your uh, uh wrongdoings and faults, your sins, you know, and, and being meek, man. God. Because he says the meek shall inherit the earth, not the proud. The meek shall inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. And and the earth, man. All right. So you can go back to uh I just like saying, oh, and the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Oh yeah, yeah. Once the yep. Lord, once you start fearing the Most High, He'll start uh, exposing more things to you. You know, more of the secrets, more of the parables. The more humble you are, the more He'll share with you. Gone. Go back to yeah, Ephesians on um, uh, six and um, read thirteen. Uh, one more time, and then you drop down to 14. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, starting at verse 13. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Mm -hmm. Stand, therefore, having your loins girded about with truth. The truth. All right, the law. The law says commandments. Read. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Right, which is this word, man. Okay. Like the scriptures say, um, we shall be in all manner of uh, uh, holy conversation, man. Come. And godliness, man. How, how you, uh, you know, indulge in that. All right, being in this, this faith, man. This word. You got it. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Mm-hmm. Above all, taking the shield of faith, mm -hmm. where you, you shall be able to quench all the fiery dots of the wicked. Right, so everything, anything that comes at us, man, we're going to be able to withstand it, man. Anything the devil throws at us, man, we're going to be able to dodge, duck and dodge. All right, bob and weave out the way, man. That's right. <laughs> You know, block it, man. All the, the Babylonian doctrines. and Yeah, all these demons, False man. prophets. Yep, demons coming at you, man. Con. You might have uh, a demon try to come up and try to persuade you, try to get you out the truth. That's right. With some bullshit, try to feed some bullshit in your ear, man. You know, trying to contradict the Bible and all that. Trying to say the Bible ain't real and, you know, try to confound mm. you, man. But if you're in this word, man, you rooted and grounded, you ain't going to fall for the wild. That's the right. Devil, the trickery, man. You know, because these people don't have it out here, man. They don't got the truth. If you ain't in the wisdom, if you don't, you ain't um under the umbrella of your Alba Shemel Shah, you don't have the truth, man. Everything else is bullshit, man. All right? It's bullshit, man. Anything outside of this is BS, man. Straight up. You know, you got it. And take the helmet of salvation mm. and the sword of the spirit. Mm-hmm. Which is the word of your house. Which is the word of the, yeah, the most high, which is a spiritual thing, man. Okay, that's what we're trying to put on, man. It's the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the Most High. And that's the huh. point, man. The word of the Lord, man. That's right. We got to have the word of the Lord to withstand, man. All right. Hey, like the scriptures say that, hey, the wicked flee and no man pursueth in Proverbs 28 and huh. 1. But right. the righteous are bold oh, as that's a lion. Yep. That's why we be out there on them corners, man. All right. Can you give me... um? Wisdom of Solomon, Apocrypha, five, go into that. You know, cause hey, mention I made mention of that scripture, quoted it right. Hey, the righteous are bold. Hey, the wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. Okay, you got it. Wisdom chapter five. Uh, wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. Chapter five, starting at verse one. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, starting at verse one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted See him. So the righteous man going to stand in great boldness in the face of those that afflicted him, man. It's primarily the so-called white man. 
We we condemning his society in his goddamn face, man. Tell him he's going down. He's going to slavery in his own kingdom, man. God. He can't do shit about it, man. He can't do nothing about it, man. That's but right. Take it. All he can do is take down our pages. And, and turn red in the face. Yeah, turn red in the face like the devil he is. That's all he can do. He can't do nothing. He can't drop a bomb on us. You know? He can't shoot have a drone come and shoot us down. You know? Because why we protected by the uh uh, uh the Heavenly Father's angels, man. The Lord is protecting them, his prophets, man. Alright? So we stand out there in great boldness, man. We have faith in Yahweh by Shemel Shah. All right, week in and week out, we go out there and make our body a living sacrifice, literally, man. Because anything can happen out there while we out there, man. All right, but the Lord protects us, man. You got it. And made no account of his labels. Yeah, and our labels ain't being made accounted of. People don't respect what we're doing. Huh. You know, you want to say something? They don't, and they don't respect what we have done. Yeah. You can mention slavery to, to them and they act like they don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Or try to change the subject. Yeah, that's all they always do. Like the devils they are, man. You know? But they don't make it no account of that. They're just the main labor right here, man. They ain't, we, they, we ain't being acknowledged for preaching this word. Why? Because the world, the majority of the world is contrary to this word, kind. or what we preach. Yeah. They, they don't, they they don't want to hear the truth. Right. They're contrary to uh, Yahweh Shah. They that's hate right. Yahweh Shah, man. Kind. They hate Yahweh Shah. Our own people, man. Hate Yahweh. They hated Yahweh Shah back then when he was on earth. So how much more us when we speak in the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah or the words of Yahweh Shah, which he says he comes in the volume of the book. All right, you got it. When they see it, they shall be troubled mm. with terrible fear. Yeah, that's getting into salvation, man. We were going, hey, we mentioned salvation, um, what uh, the last precept the brother read, man. And that's what we're striving for, man. So when we all uh, get beamed up, man, you know, you people going to tremble, man, when we see them chariots. Okay? Because y'all ain't going to expect it, us mm -hmm. to get beamed up. It's going to explain it. You got it. And she'll be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Right. They all going to be amazed, man. It's going to exceed the first exodus. Mm -hmm. All right? This second exodus is coming. It's going to exceed it, uh, the first one, man. Okay? It's going to be so spectacular because... Yeah, uh, it's going to involve the, the so-called UFOs, man. That's right. All right? That people think is a hoax. You know, it's make-believe. But y'all going to see them up close and personal, man. All right? Very soon. You got it? So far, but y'all and all that they looked it for. Mm. Y'all ain't looking for this, man. Y'all looking for America to go on another 20, 30, 50, 40, mm -hmm. 40 50 years, man. All right? Y'all ain't y'all expecting a, a white Jesus to come back. That's though. right. Primarily. All right. You got it. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of mm. spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometime in derision. Mm-hmm. Talking about uh, the Israelites, man. Primarily the men of the Lord, huh? People look at us like we ain't shit, man. That's right. You got it. And a proverb of reproach. And a proverb of reproach. Man, we've been a pro reproach, oppressed. That's right. Ever since we came over this God forsaken mm -hmm. land, man. You know? Being scoffed at and mocked. Yep, scoffed and mocked at. Even our own people, man. They talk shit, man. All right, you got it. We fools accounted his life madness. Right, you ain't caught out there count our lives madness. Call, you call us, say we on a cut. Yeah, the yeah. cult, we crazy. You know, Them niggas on the corner, they crazy. We we dress funny, mm -hmm. all right? You know, we, we're weirdos. Hey, talk all the shit you want, man. But at mm -hmm. the end of the day, y'all going to be looking stupid. Man. Yeah. You know? I've heard people say, look at them fools, they out there in the rain. Yeah, hey, we're supposed, hey, we're supposed <laughs> to be fools for y'all shot. Hey, the scriptures say that. Hey, can you get that real quick? Well, I can get it. I can get it. I get it. Um, because the scriptures say we're going to be fools for y'all shot. That's right. Man. And I'd much rather be out there in that rain than to be out there when it started raining on my CBL. Yeah, you <laughs> say. <laughs> All right, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Starting at verse 9, it says, For I think that the Most High have set forth us, the apostles, last. All right? Because, hey, we, we're the last. We're kind of last. 
you know, on the bottom in the society, right? But hey, we we gonna be the uh, uh the first uh the first one. We gonna be the first recognized ones in the kingdom, man. We gonna be renowned, man. All right. It says it reads on as it were proved to death, for we are made a spectacle. See that unto the world. And to the angels and to men. So we made a spectacle when we out there, man. Mm -hmm. Even on, on the internet, primarily, we made a spectacle. That's right. Okay, and people, you know, people talk shit on the comment boards. You know, to them, hey, you guys are crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. All right? And all this all this shit, man. Because the scriptures say there should be scoffers in the last days, man. All right? Verse 10, it says, this is the point. We are fools for Hamashiach's sake. But... Ye are wise in Hamashiach or Yahusha. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but ye, we are despised. Right. So, hey, we're gonna be looked down upon, but that's right. Hey, to the heavenly Father, man, we 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 are um of high esteem, man. Okay, we're important. We're important, man. We're of, of great significance in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. The hell what what what, what uh, the world thinks, man. That's right. Fuck them, man. You know, the hell if you come, you uh, younger brothers, you come in the shoe and you lose friends. You're supposed to lose friends, family. That's People right. turn against you because they hate the word of the Lord, man. All right, this world, hey, this word is contrary to the uh, the world's views. All right, the word of the Heavenly Father is contrary to the world, man, and that's why we're gonna be hated. You know, that's why uh, Esau is fits and get rid of the persecutors, man. All right. Oh, what was you at? We can continue to read some more. We're going to get ready to wrap up soon. What was that? What's chapter five? Five and on. Um... Okay, I got it. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter five, starting at verse five. Okay. How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh? All right, so they're going to look at us. How, how, how are we numbered? Yeah. How do them uh, niggas? Yeah, them niggas. Cursing how do them niggas get beamed up? They they cursing people out and <laughs> they look like bombs. How, how the hell are they getting beamed up, man? Are these they can't be men of the Lord? I expect the pastor pork chop to be beamed up. Mm -hmm. If anybody, yep. That's how y'all look. That, the, see, y'all look at the uh, corner. Yeah. yeah. Look at it from a corner view, but the most I always choose the underdog, man. Yep. The man with the alligator shoes on the Mercedes Benz. Yeah, exactly. Gonna be right, gonna be get burned up by them ICDM yep. missiles. Exactly. Right along with you. You know, you got it. And his lot is among the saints. Mm. See, I'll look at Pastor Portchop as a saint. Mm -hmm. A little do you know he's a damn demon in the eyes of the Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. The Lord gonna destroy him, man. All right, you got it. Therefore, have we erred. From the way of truth? I mean, it's straight away, man. You, you in error, man. God. Why? Because you um, following the ways of uh, of America, man. So uh, you're not following the ways of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, man. All right? The, mo the Most High has got that covering cast on you niggas, man. You got it? And the light of righteousness has not shined unto us. Right, because you in gross darkness, the Most High keeping you there, man. That's right. He keeping you in gross darkness because he don't want you, man. And he made your table a snare. Listen to his beloved King David, man, because he don't want all Israel huh. to get it. That's right. Because he, he wants to destroy two-thirds, man. All right, you got it. And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Right, the sun of righteousness, all right, which is primarily Yahweh Shai, okay? Is it actual sun or S-O-N or S? S S U N. Oh, the sun. Well, okay, okay, Salakia. So like, you know, hey, the light is the not. Light. Gonna, yeah, yeah, the light is not going to shine. That's right. Shine upon you, man. You gonna like I said, you're gonna remain in gross darkness, man. All right, is any more? Yeah, he was showing you the light, but instead of you walking to, to toward it, you walked away from it. Mm -hmm. You you rebel. We weird ourselves in the way of wickedness mm. and destruction. Right. Hey, you follow, hey, you continue in your weakness. That's man. right. And that which leads you on the path for what? Destruction. All right. And now you're going to be looking stupid when a missile, a warhead is uh, coming toward your head, man. Or a missile, a warhead going to come toward you, destroy you, man. You got it. Yay. We have gone through deserts mm -hmm. where there lay no way. 
But as for the way of the Most High, we have not known it. Right, y'all ain't know. Like the also, hey, the scriptures say, the ox know if his owner is an ass and that's quill. But Israel do not know it, do not consider, man. You didn't consider the ways of the Heavenly Father. And now the Lord is going to is gonna bring your judgment upon your head, man. Okay? Why you why you looking at the real righteous men getting beamed up and delivered, man? The ones you scoff, you mock that, you talk shit about. Huh. Then th they sit with bombs and war dresses and, and they need to get a job. They're wasting their time. They're angry. Why you so angry? You hateful. Yeah. Teaching you know? hate, teaching and preaching hate. Yep. Why, uh, why your ideas, uh, all along you're going to find out the most I didn't agree with them, man. Your ideology was all bullshit. Come. You, you got it up. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, starting at verse 8. What has pride profit us? What has pride profit you, man? Hey, the scriptures say pride go before the fall. Yeah. And a halty spirit before fall, man. Where has it gotten you niggas, man? Why you? What the hell are you proud for? Most I can destroy you with a snap of the finger, man. Okay? You don't know, hey, you, hey like the scriptures say, your life should hang in doubt before you, man. You don't, you don't know uh, what another day going to bring, like it says in Proverbs 27. All right? That's why the scriptures say, uh, boast not thyself on tomorrow, man. All right? You don't know what a day may bring. Cause. Again, on... Um, Paraphrasing on um, Proverbs twenty-seven and one, man. Okay, you don't know if you're gonna um uh die in your sleep, man, die in a car accident, man. But you want to be proud, you know. You got it. Uh, what good has riches with our vaunting brought us? Right. What good has your riches? Hey, woe to you that receive your consolation, yeah. man. Your riches, your riches, and your possessions. Yep. What good is that guy, yeah, you man? That you idolize. Right. And the Lord, Lord going to strip that away from you, man. All that's going, all this temporal stuff is going to be destroyed, man. Right along with you, man. Because you you setting your heart in this place, man. God. Okay? Instead of setting your heart on the kingdom, man. All right? You got it. All those things are passed away like a shadow. Mm. Everything, all this is temporary. Everything we have... On this earth is temporary. That's man. right. Pass away, man. Niggas set their heart in this shit, man. They job, family. What they going to talk about? What they going to do next five, ten years? When they graduate, like you, college niggas, they don't know shit, man. You know. You set your heart in this place. This place going to be destroyed by nuclear fire, man. You got it. And as a post that hasted by. Mm-hmm. And as a ship that passes over the waves of the water. Right. Which when it is gone by, the trace thereof cannot be found. Right. Neither the pathway of the kill in the waves. Right, man. Everything's going gonna, gonna to vanish, man. You know? When you left over here in the, um, America, you're going you're gonna, to uh, uh, burn away with America, man. You're going to be made desolate, man, with America, man. All right, you got it. Or as when a bird has flown through the air, mm -hmm. there is no token of her way to be found. Right. <laughs> but the light air being beaten with the stroke of her wings and parted with the violent noise and emotion of them is passed through. Right. And therein afterward, no sign where she went is to be found. Right, so hey, when them nuclear missiles hit, Hey, you ain't, you ain't going to be able to recognize America, man. All right? America won't be recognizable That's once right. the missiles um, devour this yeah. place, man. Yeah. Hey, you, you ain't going to be a trace of you people that's mm -hmm. burned up either, man, because you're going to be disintegrated. Right. You ain't going to know one landmark from another. Yeah, exactly. There ain't going to be a blade of grass, man. Everything's going to perish over here, man. Because Basically, it's saying in this chapter, the rest of you going to burn. when you After deliverance, the rest of you going to be uh, left here to die, man. All right? And perish. That's what it's getting into, man. All right? There's any more on that? We're going to get ready to wrap up soon. Or like as when an arrow is shot at a mark, mm -hmm. it parts the air, which immediately come together again, so that a man cannot know where it went through. 
Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it, man. Hey, that nuclear destruction, man. Uh, we can end it off on um, Malachi 4 and 1. You know? Because America is out of here, man. It's done, man. It's finished. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, starting at verse 1. Coming. For, behold, the day coming mm -hmm. that shall burn as an oven. Mm -hmm. That day is the nuclear fire. It's gonna be, these missiles going to be shot throughout the four That's corners right. of the earth, primarily America. That's right. It's going to be burnt completely up, man. 100 million degrees Fahrenheit. Mm, 200 million nuclear warheads. You got it. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly mm -hmm. shall be stubble. Right. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, said Yahweh of hosts. Right. So hey, it's going to be a, a total de uh, desert out here once those missiles finish this place, man. It's going to be the greatest destruction ever known. All right. So, hey, you got something. Yeah. That it should leave them yeah. neither root nor branch. Hey, blade of grass, like I said, ain't going to be left here, man. Gonna see, it's going to be a complete desert, man. All right. So, a hey, great death and destruction uh, be, uh, bestows America, man. It's going to befall America. All right. So, hey, that's pretty much all I had today. All we had, you know, you had any closing words? I didn't have anything to say. Okay, um, so, hey, Lord willing, this was edifying. We're going to close out by saying again, all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikah Kadash, the bonds of the apostles, and elders at Great Millstone and Well. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of our preaching's word and truth and sincerity. Don't say Shalom. Shalom. Kwam Yashala. Kwam Yashala. And Ababa Ball. Ababa Ball. Shalom. Shalom.